Hello everyone, this is a short review of new Druid talents, coming with Legion. Hello everyone, this is Tier 1. Shooting Stars. Moonfire and Sunfire ticks have a chance to call down a falling star, dealing 21% of spell power with arcane damage and generating 5 astral power. Warrior of Loon. Your next two lunar strikes have no cast time. Star Lord. When your solar and lunar spells are empowered, their cast time is reduced by 50%. Tier 2. Displacer Beast and Wild Charge moved up from one tier. Tier 3. Feral Affinity. Increases your movement speed by 15%, you also learn some freal spells. Guardian Affinity. Reduces all damage taken by 10%, you also learn some Guardian spells. Restoration Affinity. Heals you for 4 of your maximum health every 5 seconds. If you are at full health, a random nearby injured ally will be healed instead, you also learn some Restoration spells. Tier 4. Mighty Bash moved down from 5 tier. Mass Enigelment and Typhoon moved up from 3 tier. Tier 5. Soul of the Forest and Incarnation, Chosen of a Loon moved up from 4 tier. Stellar Flare moved down from 7 tier. Tier 6. Stellar Drift. Increases the radius of Starfall by 30%, and the damage dealt by 20%. Additionally, while you are inside the Starfall you can cast while moving. Full Moon. The damage dealt to the primary target of Lunar Strike is increased by 25%. Nature's Balance. You align to the power of the moon and star so your direct damage spells re-energize your damage over time effects. Your Lunar Strike extend the duration of Moonfire by 6 seconds. Your Solar Wraths extend the duration of Sunfire by 4 seconds. Tier 7. Collapsing Stars. Burns the target for 1000% of spell power with Spellstorm damage, and then an additional 400% of spell power damage per second until your Astral Power is exhausted. Replaces Celestial Alignment. Astral Communion. Generate 75 Astral Power. Blessing of the Ancients. Gain a Blessing of the Ancients, activating or swapping between one of the two following beneficial effects, Blessing of a Loon. Increases Astral Power generated by Solar Wrath and Lunar Strike by 50%. Blessing of Anch. Grants 3 Astral Power every 2 seconds. Tier 1. Predator. The cooldown on Tiger's Fury will reset if a target dies with one of your bleed effects active. Blood Set. Your melee abilities in cat form have a 10% increased critical strike chance on targets with a bleed effect. Lunar Inspiration. Moonfire is now usable while in cat form, generates 1 combo point, deals damage based on attack power, and costs 30 energy. Tier 3. Balance Affinity. You gain, Astral Influence. Increases the range of all of your abilities by 5 yards. You also learn some balance spells. Tier 5. Bloody Slash. Strike all nearby enemies in a flurry of blood slashes, inflicting 954% of physical damage to each. Awards 1 combo point. Maximum 3 charges. Replaces swipe. Tier 6. Saber Tooth. Your ferocious bite extends the duration of rip by 2 seconds per combo point spent. Jagged Wounds. Your rip, reek, and thrash abilities deal the same damage as normal, but in 33% less time. Elune's Guidance. Immediately gained 5 combo points and an additional 1 combo point every 1 second for 5 seconds. Tier 7. Savage Roar. Finishing move that increases physical damage done by 40% while in cat form. Lasts longer per combo point. Moment of Clarity. Your Omen of Clarity now affects the next 3 cat form abilities or regrowths instead of your spec. Tier 1. Brambles. Sharp Brambles protect you, absorbing and reflecting up to attack power 0.2 damage from each attack. Blood Frenzy. Lacerate also generates 1 rage per stack, each time it deals damage over time. Pulverize move down from 7th tier. Tier 2. Guttural Roars. Increases the radius of Stampeding Roar and Incapacitating Roar by 200%. Reduces the cooldown of Stampeding Roar by 50%. Tier 5. Galactic Guardian. Your damage has a 5% chance to trigger a Moonfire, and Moonfire also reduces the damage that enemies deal to you by 5%. Tier 6. Earth Warden. Every 6 seconds, you gain a charge of Earth Warden, up to 3 charges. Earth Warden reduces the damage of the next auto attack you take by 30%. Survival of the Fittest. Reduces the cooldowns of Bark Skin and Survival Instincts by 50 parents. Guardian of Alune move down from 7th tier. Tier 7. Rend and Tier. Lacerate also increases your damage dealt to the target, and reduces your damage taken from the target by 2% per stack. Lunar Beam. Summons a beam of lunar light at your location for 8 seconds. Every 1 second, the beam will heal you and deal 100% of attack power with arcane damage to enemies. 
Tier 1. Verdant Growth. Increases the critical strike chance of your regrowth by 40%. Chenarian Ward moved down from 2nd tier. Germination moved down from 7th tier. Tier 5. Cultivation. When Rejuvenation heals a target below 50% of health, it applies Cultivation to the target, healing them for 108.4% of spell power over 6 seconds. Tier 6. Prosperity. Reduces the cooldown of Swift Men by 5 seconds and it now has 2 charges. Inner Peace. Reduces the cooldown of Tranquility by 60 seconds. Profusion. When you have Rejuvenation active on 3 or more targets, the cast time of your Healing Touch spell is reduced by 30%. Tier 7. Stana Bark. Reduces the cooldown of Iron Bark by 15 seconds, and it increases healing from your Heal Over Time effects by 20%. Flourish. Extend the duration of all of your Heal Over Time effects on friendly targets within 60 yards by 10 seconds. Thanks for watching, next videos coming soon. See you later. Thanks for watching, other videos coming soon.